testing the mic for as long as I can go. Hopefully this sounds better. Alright, what's up guys? Um, It's Junior here. You know, it's been a while since I made an actual video. So it's probably like, probably not even last school year because my senior year of high school, um, I, I wasn't put in any AV classes, you know, AV tech classes, so. But I guess that's my fault too, you know, so, you know. Um, last year during, I think it's August, you know, it was, well, I, I, I'm, I'm doing this whole video unscripted, so this can go anywhere, but anyways, um, <clears throat> sorry. May or may not edit this into chunks, so it might flow a little bit easier, but not really. Anyways, um, hopefully you guys like the new mic. Well, it was, isn't really that new. I bought it, like, in February. Well, asked my parents if I can use their credit card to buy it for me. But I already have money saved enough to buy other equipment that I need for, you know, like, video recording and stuff. Sorry if I may sound like I'm whispering. I'm, I'm not in my house. I'm in my family's house, so don't want to distract them too long. And the walls are pretty thin in this house. You could probably hear a door slam. That's how thin they are. Unless, well, I'm not sure. I equalized the mic so you can better hear my voice and not the surrounding sound. So hopefully, hopefully that's all good. Unscripted, so yeah. Well, let me turn it back. It's been a while since I made a video because, you know, haven't been given that much opportunities to make videos. But nonetheless, I have like a bunch of video that video ideas in mind that I want to do in the future and I've been thinking of one series in particular that has been going in my head f around for almost a year and that's crazy because <sighs> I still got a lot of thoughts in my head about that series which I haven't even typed up yet can you believe that just th dreaming away and not doing Wish it, want it, do it. Just like that book Brian Griffin wrote. Anyways, I've been all I've been doing is wishing and wanting. Not doing it. Which is not pretty good. Anyways, I haven't been make, making videos in a long time because I'm not given the opportunity to do so. Like senior year, haven't put in any AV tech classes. Only have six classes this year out, out of eight. Which I've done for the past three years of high school. So yeah. Um, junior year, the last nine weeks, was all at home because of quarantine, so that was, <laughs> that messed me up pretty bad doing schoolwork in quarantine, because, you know, without, you know, without that, I guess, I can't think of the word, but like, just that f gnawing feeling, you know, some people may not have this some do but like don't really think about it that much but just that gnawing feeling of your teacher just getting angry at you for just not turning in your work I've been that type of kid that always turns into his work but not the kid who asks the teacher when they can turn in our assignments or when we can turn in their assignments I'm not that type of kid don't worry about it um yeah anyways um last nine weeks of junior year really messed me up because, you know, I slacked off a bunch because there isn't that, um, there isn't that discipline that comes into actually, you know, when being in school, teacher nagging at you, you know, not doing your work, horrible experience, haven't really been through it, but, you know, I, I would always think it, it's horrible. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, really messed me up. And I also have to, like, help my younger sister out with her, since, you know, it's a first time for her, and she's very young. So, you know, I have to help her out. She was in the fourth grade back then, so, yeah. Help her out. Gotta help myself out. So, yeah. Pretty complicated. But, I remember the last week of the nine weeks, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get on the grind and just finish everything. And I'm gonna do it well. I'm not just gonna... Um, half, half, <laughs> half bast it, trying not to cuss too much, but I'm not, 
I'm not gonna just have, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna turn into half-baked pie and serve it to everyone. No, I'm gonna make it fully baked with a crisp crust. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, anyways, so, last two weeks, turned in everything and anything that I can. Like, my grades were slipping, but after turning all everything in, overall grades for all classes are an A. And I was like, whew, thank, thank the Lord for that. Summer passed by, but it felt the same as, like, being in school, you know? Just doing nothing and stuff. Although I, I, well, my church canceled basically everything since, you know, COVID 2020 and stuff. So really the summer felt pretty long, but I did remember helping out my dad with work like a few, a few times throughout the months, you know, um, yeah, senior year came by. Uh, in August, August, around the 20th, my school announced that they're going to start the nine weeks off with just remote, remote again until further notice. And then later on, after the nine weeks, they said that they're back to doing in person. And, excuse me, that was a burp. Okay. My school said that they're going to do it back in person, and I didn't want to. Uh, my oldest sister, who graduated in 2020, but she is part of this class called Life Skills, which um, which is for people that have special needs and disabilities, you know. For my older sister, she has autism. and So, yeah, she has her own thing going on and yeah, has her own interests, which are very, very cool. And she sings a lot. Well, not all the time, but, you know, like... She sings out loud. She she just she if she has a mic, she will blow that sucker out of the water. So yeah. Anyways, um, so whenever they announce that they're doing in person again for this for the second nine weeks, um, my older sister went back, and I told my mom, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna stay a little longer because, you know, I don't want to. It's been like a few months since I haven't touched the school ground. I was like, no, I don't want to get that nagging feeling behind me but also like um during the first nine weeks of senior year I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna do better than junior year because I don't want to slack off again but surely enough I slacked off again you know it, it's just like that it's just so easy to do something wrong than it is to do right you know despite what religious belief or morality you have and I guess in what you believe but anyways Slacking off, and I didn't want to go back in person because I didn't want to feel that guilt. But after Halloween, I, my parents told me that I need to go back, and I went back. And I got a lot more, I got a lot more things to talk about. But like, long story short, um, I slacked off big time, big time. Teachers did the best they could to help me, but it wasn't their fault. It it was all my fault, man. This is too much. <laughs> well, it's it's not their fault that they put so much work into it, but well, maybe it is. I don't know. There are two sides of the same coin. Senior year, in the student side, they may already be driving, meaning they have other responsibilities entailed while driving. Let's say they have siblings; they might have to pick up pick up their siblings if they leave early from school and run some errands for their parents while they're working. You know. They might have a job during them that they that they got from the summer before senior year. So they have to maintain that work schedule. And also the extracurricular activities that they may or may not attend at school. Like sports and stuff. And that's a lot. That's a lot on a coming of age adult. You know, that's a lot. Teacher side of things, you know. They, they know. Well... Yeah, most of them know that senior year, time to chillax because you know you got all them responsibilities, and for some, for some students they may they may go to college, you know, right after high school, which is which is good, good choice. I don't know. There's two t two sides of the same coins, you know. I bet the teachers are just 
you know, helping out the students as much as they can. Well, of course, because they helped out me. I just didn't do my part. So, I guess any young kiddos out there or teenagers who are slacking off at work or slacking off doing their homework at school, not paying attention to the teacher, just listen to this. Or just listen to this one message I have to say. Just think about the people in your life. Just think about how much they put effort into your life. Well, it may be a different situation for every person, but just think about the person that... Just think about the people that care about you and show love and affection to you no matter what. It could be your friend. It could be your auntie whenever your dad um, left or divorced your mom. Your mom's been having a rough time, but your auntie been helping him out a ton. Or it could be your older sibling, since he or she is always there for you. So, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this is a good listen. Hey, yo guys. What's up? It's um, Junior here. Back at it again. Again, with this voiceover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully you like the new mic. It's not it's not Blue Yeti, because those are freaking expensive, and apparently more heavy than they look. I got like a look-alike, but it works just as well, I think. It's a fee-fine mic. Mic. Fee-fine mic, you know. I don't know the exact model, but it's, it's pretty good. It's way smaller than I expected. And, pre- and it does the job well. Anyways, Twitter. Whew. So, I don't know when I made an account, but I checked back on my Twitter account, and apparently I've made my account since January of 2018. So, it's been nearly three plus years that I had a Twitter account. And for those first three years, the majority of my time, I just scrolled through the timeline, not thinking about you know, actually making mutuals, or the term that's used now is moots. Pretty weird, but uh, the the thought of making friends online doesn't really occur to me in any social media platform besides just following the people that I already know. So, <coughs> excuse me, that was a burp. <coughs> yeah, there it goes again. Anyways, um, never had the idea of. Uh, making friends, you know, online. So, I, for Twitter, I just scroll through the timeline, just like like things I like, meet people that I like, uh, follow them back, look at more co- content that they have or stuff they retweeted. You know, just I just did that, you know. And sometimes I reply saying stuff that's pretty cool and stuff, you know. Never wanted to delve into the deeper topics whenever it comes to mind. Yeah, so, anyways, um, yeah, well, after graduating high school, I have no idea, I don't know when, well, I got back into Twitter, probably sometime in May or April, most likely in the beginning of May, because this YouTuber that I followed, who does Dragon Ball content, Geekdom101, Geekdom101, (laughs) I'm gonna say that again, because he's a great YouTuber, great Dragon Ball YouTuber. He also does uh, another channel called World of Geekdom and does a podcast too. Well, he does multiple podcasts, but you can check him out in the Geekdom 101 podcast, but I shouldn't plug for that man. Well, I I should because he's such a very honest and truthful man. Does no wrong to anyone, but maybe I'll leave links to those down in the description if I may or may not do that. But anyways, uh, beginning of May, I noticed there was this new feature called Twitter Space. I was scrolling through Twitter, and then one day, I noticed at the top of the heading, some, like, top of the heading of the app, where they usually post stories and stuff, and there is an icon, like, in purple, surrounding the Geekdom 101, uh, profile picture. I was like, what's this? Clicked on it. It was kind of like a live session. Like a Zoom call, I guess. 
but without looking at other people's faces and just the audio, just listening to the audio. I was intrigued, listened through it, forgot what the what it actually was about, but it, it was a pretty decent topic. Well, it wasn't straight onto just one topic, but on multiple, I guess. He brought in different people, and I remember one time, whenever I was hooked on listening to, well, the feature that, <laughs> the feature I was talking about is uh, Twitter Spaces. Apparently, it's a new thing that they added in the beginning of May, so I was I was intrigued, so I listened to some more whenever he does so, and one, one time, I, I think I was the first person he brought up, and, you know, it was a good time. We talked pretty cool dude anyways um i was hooked i was like i'm just gonna wait every i I can't wait until he brings back a space so i can listen to him talk and i waited and waited and so so long so forth um he doesn't really do them anymore twitter spaces and it's fine you know but i kind of got a bit (laughs) kind of bit a bit disdainful towards him for doing that but that's just my view of him. He geeked him may have um, other reasons why he didn't do it. Because he's a he's a busy man, you know. He he saved up a lot of money and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways. I guess after that, I decided to just go through Twitter, you know. And going through Twitter so far so forth, I made a few friends, I guess. Totally forgot how I made friends, but like they were there and I was there with them not gonna call out the users of the usernames of the friends but like it was nice it was nice decided to go delve more into it and actually (laughs) this uh, this is so dumb but I guess I gotta be truthful here um this one time this girl messaged me she was just, well, I, I had a, like, a Steven Universe banner back then, and, yeah, she messaged me saying, you like Steven Universe, and at first I didn't know what she was talking about, but then I was like, um, yes, and then we just, we talked, we talked about Steven Universe, and then that night, we, we kind of make, we were acquaintances, we know each other a little bit, well, we had one thing in common, so that's a start, so I was like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool to talk to people, you know. Well, she messaged me in my DMs, so she was the first to do that. So I was like, whoa, a girl, you know. <laughs> Anyways, the next day, uh, the next day, um, my, my memory's hazy. Uh, this happened during the beginning. No, 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 this happened during, yeah, this happened during the beginning of May. You know, she matches me. Well, like, <sighs> memory's hazy, man. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for not remembering the story about the girl me or the girl DMing me. But long story short, the girl wasn't as good as I think she was, and so. But like, but I wanted to change her since I think I felt we connected. So I messaged her, I think on Friday, like it's been a week of conversing with her. So it started on Monday. So it lasted for five days in total. I messaged her on Friday night. Then later on, while I was checking through Twitter Saturday morning, I noticed that her account was gone. So... She just slept just like that. Just a mystery girl. Don't know if she was actually a girl because there seems to be her face in her profile picture, but I don't know. Soon dread, dread long into the past because, you know, time to strive on to the future. Anyways, made more friends, met more people. Talked to some. Met a ton of people. Long story short. It's good. I mean. I mean. A bunch of mutuals. I met a bunch of mutuals. 
I had a I have a lot more planned to say, but you know, off the cuff talking, <laughs> no idea, no idea. Um. Okay. Well, let me just I guess talk about different regions where my friends um reside in. I know one person that's in Turkey, one that's in the UK, one that's in Spain, and one that's in Arizona, and a bunch of others which I don't know the exact locations where they live yet. And that, <laughs> when me saying it sounds weird, but anyways, yeah, it's the first time that I take into account that people sleep at different times. <laughs> Like let's let's say let's say that it's six o'clock PM at night. Like some people over the world don't use PM or AM, so six PM turns into sixteen O O. Sixteen O. And let's sixteen O for me can be sixteen O can be fourteen O or four o'clock PM for Arizona. Um for Spain, it's seven plus hours from where I am, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. It'll be one a.m. or one zero or one o <laughs> the next day for Spain, and one more hour, so it will be two o in Turkey, and in the UK it'll be twelve o or no twenty four, twenty three o. It'll be twelve twelve. Uh, 12, 12, 12 a.m. in the UK, so, to, pref- to preface again, let's say if, if it's 6 p.m., well, it is, it, it, let's say if it's 6 p.m. where I'm at, then in Arizona, it'll be two minus hours, so it'll be 4 p.m., the UK will be 12 a.m. the next day, Spain 1 a.m. the next day, and the UK 2 a.m. the next day, pretty complicated stuff on my part, but I- I'll eventually get it. Met lots of people. I'm glad I got into Twitter, but I guess I was, well, I think I started in June with about 11.2k tweets, and as of today, let me check, let me check my phone, as of June 25th, 2021, I am currently in 15.7 thousand tweets. That's pretty insane. And I think I had 30-something followers, but now I have 72, which is pretty cool. I have thoughts about how many followers I have, but it's not really that important because, you know, I guess I have a... I have a set religion and more, more moral compass that I have, you know. In in other words, I'm a Christian, you know, so, yeah, Christian Twitter <laughs> kind of don't go together, because, you know, if you're a Christian listening to this, I bet you relate, so, anyways, being a Christian is, and I guess any other religion that, that wants you to be morally right the whole, all the time, not saying that Christianity is, but like, you know, I'm just paraphrasing my own words into into this, but anyways, when you're a Christian, you have a set set of moral moral things that you should keep in mind. Like if what if you're if you're a Christian, you should embody what God would do to others. Like Jesus cares for the weak and poor, and He loves His enemies, so we should do the same. But as we're human and we're sinners. And God's perfect. It's easier said than done. But because we are Christians, we are adopted children of God. Thus, you know, we've been given a compass. A compass that we have in our hearts the whole time. And God's like, I'm just waiting here for you whenever you need me. Because I always love you. And he gives us that choice. He gives us that choice. We can either take it or we can leave it. And most of the time we just 
don't take it because we we believe that well this isn't just Christians but this is everyone we believe we know well we <laughs> us humans we think we know better than any anyone we think we own our lives like our mothers like pushed us out of the womb and she nourished us and our father does too like our earthly father I mean and they they nurture us and they teach us from right from wrong or don't do that at all but short comes to stuff when we grow old and become 18 and adult we decide it's time to move on time to live our own lives forget our parents it's time to live life time to find meaning behind my life and with christianity um accepting there's abc's into becoming or or i guess receiving god as your lord and savior abc's um a admit to god that you're a sinner and repent that means just acknowledge that you're a bad person and that you're willing to I guess go the distance into acknowledging that by showing God how weak you are. That, that may sound harsh because I'm just paraphrasing. But, you know, it's just acknowledging your weakness and wanting someone stronger to take hold of you. That's basically what the A stands for. Admitting to God that you're sin or repent. B, um, believe that Jesus is the Lord and Savior or is the I think it B stands for believing that Jesus is the one and only Savior because God's son Jesus died on the cross for us because he was the ultimate sacrifice because back in the Old Testament the only way to ask for God's forgiveness is to like kill a lamb because a lamb represents innocence I guess and stuff since it's sinless somewhat but since Jesus died on the cross for all of us, he was the ultimate sacrifice, the the holiest of lambs. You know, his red blood washed over all of our sins away. Well, I don't mean entirely, but like, he gives us, like, God sent his son so he can give us a chance. Not just a chance, because he did so in the past with the lambs. God sent his son, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I was about to burp, but it didn't come out anyways, um, guess what I'm trying to say is, say, guess what I'm trying to say is, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on a cross, not to give us a chance at eternal life, but a choice, a choice. Just like he did all the way back at Adam and Eve. People are, are always questioning, if God's a good God, then why is this happening to us? Well, it's because of us. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he made all everything good. Then he made humans, which were also good. He, he made us in our own image, which is pretty cool. And... And... It's... It's pretty amazing. He, he gave us plenty of animals to hang out with. Plenty of fruit to eat. Plenty of water to drink. And then God gives us a choice. Well, he, he gave, he gave us, he doesn't really, he didn't really specifically gave us a choice, but he gave us like, he gave us a rule, basically. He's like, he can wander, well, I'm just paraphrasing this, so. I should have brought my, I should have read the Bible about this, but this is all on the cuff of my head, so, cuff of my head, so, you know, if you have any questions about this, just talk to someone you know about it, who's a Christian or your pastor. Anyways, God, God made us, Adam and Eve, man and woman, and he told them, you can have everything in the garden, but do not eat from the tree of good and evil. And that's the choice that he's given us. Now people, like, I have this question too. 
Sorry if you're hearing some singing in the background because that's my older sister, you know. Anyways, um, it's all good though, you know. Um, God gave us that choice. Some people are maybe just wondering, that, well, if God, w if God really wants us to live a good and happy life, then why does He give us the choice to eat from the good, from all, from all of His fruits? compared to the good compared to the tree of good and evil let me just rephrase that let me just rephrase that question for those who may not understand people well i had this question too anyways pe people will be like god um sorry <laughs> there you go burping a lot today hey some guacamole that's a day old so you know that's probably why anyways I had this question. Most people do too. If God wants us to be perfect, then why did he plant the good, the tree of good and evil? You know? He shouldn't have to do that. And you're right, he shouldn't. Or he, well, yeah, he shouldn't. But he did. You know why? To give us a choice. To give us free will free reign of our lives it's like it's like your mom and dad example mom or dad raised you they raised you well took you to places changed your diapers went to the park um, scolded you at times but only for the benefit of teaching you better of you knowing better what if they don't do that? What if they don't even give you toys? Your baby room's just bare with white paint with just a grip and only your blanket. You were told everything they had to do. You, you weren't. You never leave the house. And when you make a and, and when you make a baby out of yourself, you you've been scolded at. I think I'm. What I'm trying to say is. What I'm trying to say is, imagine yourself without any freedom of your parents. It would be pretty, it would pretty, it would be pretty nightmare-inducing, am I right? Anyways, I guess that's what I'm trying to describe here. If God did not plant the tree of good and evil, the tree that let Satan attempt even to eating the fruit from and thus telling Adam about the fruit and thus knowing what they did was wrong because God told them not to eat from the tree of good and evil if God did not plant that tree then we wouldn't have any say so in anything at all nothing really we, we would have no say so and anything that we do in our lives. Any any sport you do at school or any clubs you do, hanging out with your friends, asking your parents for permission, going to church, going to work, driving your own car. Sorry about that. <laughs> driving your own car. Me recording this video. None of this would have None of this would have existed if God didn't plant that tree. Because God planted that tree, he gave us a choice. Thus giving us free will to choose what we should do. So, <laughs> I don't know how I got into this rabbit hole, but anyways... To shorten up, I guess, what I was saying for the past few minutes. If you're wondering if, if God's a good God, then why does bad things happen? It's because we, may, we decide to make it happen. We do. 
And don't blame God for giving us free choice because that's basically asking, that's basically saying, um, that's basically saying like if you're in jail and the, because the owner of the jail brought you a free cookie out of free behavior, you'll be like, no, I don't want that free cookie. I don't, I don't deserve it. That's basically, <laughs> I ha I'm not that good at analogies at all. So sorry. And so sorry for any noises you hear. That's how thin these walls are. Knock on wood. Anyways. um, Yeah. Don't get mad at God. For giving us free will. Because if he hadn't. Then you wouldn't even be thinking your own thoughts right now. I wouldn't be even talking to you right now. Yeah, I think I think the original topic was Twitter or something like that. Anyways, well, no, it was the struggle of becoming Christian <laughs> and using Twitter. Wow, that that is a long rabbit hole. Anyways, um, yeah, Twitter. I'm a Christian since very young. Lately, for the past few years, I've been complacent. Let me search up what complacent means, but at the meantime, um, I haven't, complacency, I guess, means, like, not changing at all, just settling for what you are right now, which to some, especially during retirement, sounds pretty good, but to young people like me, that's not a very good thing to just decide to do, just be comfortable with who you are. Just living in your parents' house because I don't want to live in my parents' house my whole life. I want to move out because, you know, I'm a selfless person. <laughs> but besides that, I just want to, guess, make a life out of what God expects me to have a life of. And that's sharing His word with everyone. So, in order to share the word with some people, I have to make friends haven't really been good at making friends lately except for just I guess putting up a front making jokes laughing at things making snarky comments that's basically what I do and Twitter too I still have no idea idea Adidas Ugh, I can't even talk speaking of which I've been at speech therapy for like five plus years during elementary and I still couldn't talk for for suit not gonna cuss anyways gonna burp again yep this is a video you're watching right now or at least listening most, most likely anyways twitter um yeah, I want to live my life for God, and that means sharing his word. In order to share his words, I need to make friends so I can tell people about his word. So I use Twitter for that, and luckily I made some friends. And as of right now, I still haven't told them anything about God. They know I'm a Christian. One of them definitely acknowledges that I'm a Christian. Anyways, yeah, it's complicated being Christian and on Twitter because Twitter isn't meant, I guess, for people who has high, who has a high moral compass because I guess people can say whatever they want, which can be a good or bad thing. But long time goes and all those issues and complaints and all those things just mess together. Become one, one huge homogenous ball that would just mean nothing at the end. Because why would squabbling about your favorite anime or trashing an anime would do for this world? Hmm? Nothing. 
some issues that are serious that have been brought up in Twitter are in vain as well because they they have been associated or maybe treated at treated as as poorly as those anime fight anime <laughs> Twitter wars, I guess. Haven't really seen anything like that yet. Though this is good because I don't want to search for it. But it's pr- I guess what I'm trying to say is what you know is right and wrong. If what you if you know what's wrong, then you'll point out what's wrong, and thus you may or may not want to delve into that wrongfulness, aka going to sin. Because if I were to indulge in everything Twitter like, just bashing onto someone, someone's tweet without the full context. I would be a hypocrite. I wouldn't be serving God justice. If I'm just acting a hypocrite. And maybe I am right now. Well no I am a hypocrite. For just me using Twitter. But maybe not. But that's just my self as head talking. Anyways I've been rambling on for. 40 plus minutes now. Don't know if I'm going to edit this at all. I don't think so because I'm pretty lazy. I might just add a few pictures, but not too much. Nothing too flashy for this video. So, (laughs) I should have put this in the beginning, but maybe I will. I recommend you to listen to this. Just listen to this. Don't, Don't watch it. Just listen to it. Okay? Hopefully you can get something out of this, but... If not, that's good. I just hope you had a great day. Hope you would have a great day. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. But besides all those things, have a great tomorrow. God bless you. This is Junior RDZ04. Or you can just call me Junior. Signing out.